Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com and uh, also Epic4GTouchRoot.com um, So today I'm going to show you how to uh, root your Epic4G Touch on Linux or Mac um, Go to the, you, you need this tool called Heimdall um, Go to the site, I'll have links below You can get uh, the binaries, that's all you need um, Download it and install it it's a DMG file for Mac and uh, for Linux, uh, for Ubuntu, what I'm using, um, you'll have to download the appropriate one for the 32-bit uh, system, get that one, and for 64, get that one. This is a, a dev file, just click on it and install it with your um, software installer. And then open up the shell, all right, and um, type. Uh, hind, hind D all right, and you should get something like that. It, that means it's been installed. Once that has been installed, go download uh, Zero Max. Uh, I recommend the Zero Max uh, Epic Touch kernel uh, version three, which comes with Clockwork Mod Recovery, Overclocking, uh, Custom Boot Animation, or you can download any of those. But make sure you flash a kernel with Clockwork Mod Recovery. That way, next time you install a new ROM or kernel, you don't have to uh, use Heimdall because it's kind of, um, you don't want to use it all the time. Um, so, next, connect it via USB cable to your computer. And what we're going to do is put it in download mode, all right? And also go download one of the kernels, all right? The version 3, I'll have links below. And hold down volume down and power button until you get to the screen and hit volume up and it'll say downloading put that aside and then go find the download directory for me it's uh, under downloads so browse to it you can do cd um, cd slash home your username and then downloads usually it'll be in that directory and then uh, let me remove z image you need to extract the z image all you have to do is uh, tar uh, xbf and then the, the tar image you downloaded, right? And then if you do ls minus l, you'll see you have z image, right? Um, to flash this, all you gotta type is Heimdall space flash space dash dash uh, kernel space z image, okay? Exactly like that. And don't make sure you have enough, uh, make sure you don't unplug it, all right? And I'll show you. And then hit enter and it will flash it. Just like using uh, Odin, but this is the open source. And then it will flash it, you'll see that, and then it will reboot, and uh, it should give you uh, should give you super user, um, everything, uh, clockwork mod recovery. And uh, next time you uh, want to install a ROM, you can use zip files. Um, there you go, so I got my custom boot animation there. It's kind of cool, and it's going to boot up, and you can t double check the version number. Let me zoom in real quick using my Canon 7D camera. I freaking love this camera, by the way. Uh, and once you boot, go to settings, and about phone, and you'll see that uh, you have kernel version Epic. Uh, Zero Max Epic Touch Kernel V3. So that's how you root and also get a bunch of goodies on a Linux or Mac. Um, I'll show you that super user is working. Uh, where's super user? Yeah, super user 3.0. Um, now you have root. And also, uh, you can hold down volume up and power button to get into clockwork mod recovery. How cool is that, right? And next time you flash a kernel, use the zip version, um, not the tar version. You don't have to use uh, Heimdall ever again. But if you have trouble with it, you can always use Heimdall to flash kernels. Um, and there you go. So I'm going to reboot the system now. Um, so now you can use, I thought there wasn't a flashing tool, but you can use Heimdall to flash and root your Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch. And this also works on any other Samsung Galaxy devices. Um, so thanks, y'all, and subscribe to uh, Epic 4G Touch. See y'all later. Y'all rock.